regarding security and also planning issues uh, regarding the upcoming festivals of December Christmas and also the preparedness of uh, the task ahead of us uh, in as far as the national examinations are concerned. Generally we're also talking about police. Now situation generally now responded quite positively. Now the cases have gone down, totally gone down, but uh, you know one or two issues isolated here and there, they still keep on coming. But as police, uh, we want to, 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 to develop a clean sheet in as, in as far as these crimes are concerned. We have increased the patrols both day and night. And we've equally done what we call also surveillance uh, through intelligent, uh, intelligent-led uh, police patrols and uh, also research in terms of why what happens where and uh, when it happens then police are always there to do that. The Mawanga case is now behind us and uh, we don't expect any, any other any, anything else like that to, 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 to happen. We have had yes any other events uh, of uh, bad killings uh, but so far the officers behind here uh, they have really they have really thrusted themselves into making sure that uh, the Nakuru city uh, remains safe. In line with the agenda for the governor to make Nakuru a 24-hour economy, that's what we're going to support and that's what we were supporting, we are talking about today because she wants to develop economy for everyone in this, in this city. Yes. Yeah, ni, ni kweli kulikuwa na maneno kama hayo, kwamba kuna wana siyasa, wana, wana, wana unga mikono, matendo ya hawa vijana, Lakini sisi kama county security team tuliweza kukaa chini na hao pia wanasiasa na wananchi kwa ujumla na tuka promise kwamba usalama usalama ni kwa faida kila moja uh, police force and uh, make sure that the people of Nakuru have security there is people are able to go about their daily duties whether it's in their businesses or be in their homes and feel secure but and also beyond that for those wanting to come and invest in this in this country in this county or visit this county that they feel it's a place where they can comfortably come feeling that their security is well taken care of so anyway um, obviously you are aware security is not devolved however we do have mechanisms of working together because also on the other hand they are not also able to completely do everything that needs to be done without the, uh, the goodwill of the political arm as well so with that now there is the county policing authority where together we are able to, to, to come together and make sure that whatever issues are arising or whatever needs to be done we are on the same page and we are doing it together in addition to that uh, like you have all mentioned there have been uh, issues uh, beginning with my home area there of Mawanga and other areas but over time they have done a credible amazing job and to be very honest we have not been hearing those sorts of issues uh, of late uh, we do have obviously the criminal gangs that had also taken a hold of this city that's no secret uh, but from their good work their diligence we see those uh, crimes also going down we see those gangs being broken down uh, we as politicians have also come together to sit with the security team and agreed that no politician will be sympathetic to any of those groups and instead we shall be in the front line of making sure that uh, those groups are neutralized and part of that too uh, rests with us where we must make sure the economy is good the economy is flourishing the youth have jobs so that we don't have those sorts of issues and as we get closer to the holidays we are also aware that uh, incidences of security also probably rise and given the economy downturn that has we have been witnessing we are anticipating that we may have a slightly difficult holiday season if we are not um, alive to that and that was part of our big agenda here in making sure there is patrols where it's uh, probably hot spots a bit uh, there is more intentional policing and that sort of stuff so I want to just tell you that we are working very well together it will be very great for Nakuru as we move towards having a 24-hour economy uh, because we can't have that if we don't have security.